Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out to support us, um, as well as Governor Murphy for coming out here and show support as well for us. My name is Matthew Miller, and uh, my family and I are from Hoboken, and I've resided there on and off for the majority of my life. I graduated from college in 2010, and uh, about two years ago, I applied for the LETP program, and I got accepted. And uh, my father and his brothers, my uncles, worked for transit for many years. I sent in many applications, but LETP didn't require any experience. So they called me back, and I'm very honored to represent and speak on behalf of our locomotive engineer class today. This has been a long 20-month journey. Um, when I think about my life before the program, it's almost like a dream. It feels like I was a different person. It's changed the way I think and absorb information, the way my brain works. Uh, oh, trains are pretty much all I think about. <laughs> to say that it was demanding is an understatement. It requires your focus every day 100% and countless hours of studying, especially early on. It completely overtakes your life, and uh, especially in the beginning. And you show up every day and you never have any idea what's coming as far as quizzes, so you just have to be overly prepared for everything, and uh, that's the only way to do it. It's harsh, and there's no room for forgiveness, or mistakes, or failure. And when I was in the midst of it, I didn't enjoy it. But, you know, they call it class, but it's a job. It's hard work, and uh, sometimes you don't understand why it needs to be so difficult. But the truth is, the further you get along in the program, the closer to the end you get, the more and more grateful you become that it is the way it is, because we're about to be out there on our own, and we need to know what we're doing. Um, the consistent concern for safety and awareness is drilled into us daily to ensure we don't get complacent and lose our focus and pay attention to the details. And for that, I'd like to thank Scott and the training department and all our instructors for giving us the skills and the knowledge we need to succeed and for helping us when we needed help, for their patience when we needed it, and for yelling at us when we needed to get yelled at. You guys do a fantastic, and girls, do a fantastic job getting us ready and building a foundation for us to become engineers. So seriously, very, thank you very much for that. And to my class, hey, <laughs> thanks for volunteering me to come up here. I uh, appreciate that. Uh, but now that I'm here, uh, I'm very proud to be up here and grateful for each one of you. And uh, I'm glad I didn't have to go through it alone. It was, we realized early on that it's better to succeed in here together uh, than go at it alone, for sure. And uh, there isn't a single one of you at some point or another I didn't lean on for help. And uh, I'm very grateful to have gone through all of this with you guys. So again, thank you everyone to come out here. Thanks, a special thanks to my family. This program <laughs> turns us upside down. The whole family's involved, it's a lot. So I love you guys and thank you. Again, thank you to all the instructors and uh, again to Governor Murphy and uh, for coming down here and believing in us. All right, thank you. Back to my seat. Yeah, that's right. Hello everybody. Good morning. Thank you, Matthew, for that introduction, for your great words. Thank you for stepping up to be a part of the transformation of NJ Transit. To each and every one of you, I congratulate you. Thanks as well to the far left, the Commissioner of the Department of Transportation and the Chairwoman of the Board of NJ Transit, Diane gutierrez Gacchetti, as well as President and CEO to her immediate right of NJ Transit, Kevin Corbett, and the great staff here at the Training Center for their commitment to seeing you and you all and your classmates succeed. I also want to thank our brothers and sisters in organized labor. We couldn't do what we'd do without you, in particular, State President of SMART, Jerome Johnson. Jerome, where are you? Uh, in the back. Thank you, buddy, to you and all the members of labor in the House today. So folks, to the, to the murderer's row in front of me here, you're now the fourth class of prospective engineers I've had the honor to join to celebrate the end of the line for this phase of your training. I know the staff here has done their jobs, so you'll be able to tackle yours. And as you head out for your final field tests in that all-important check ride, I know you'll do just fine. 
In fact, I know you do better than just fine. You're coming on board at a time when we need you the most. This system is improving bit by bit and step by step. On-time performance is improving, cancellations are down. With you in the cabs of our trains, we're gonna keep those numbers moving in the right direction. And even more importantly, we're gonna keep moving New Jerseyans to where they need to be on time and safely. We're all in this together, and we're all in this for the long haul. NJ Transit wasn't broken in a day. It was broken down by a series of systematic failures over nearly a decade. And we can't fix it in one day either, but we're moving in the right direction. In the coming days, I look forward to coming together with Kevin and Diane and their teams to lay out NJ Transit's first ever 10-year strategic plan. We're going to continue to invest in you as we are all uh, as we are all of the great women and men of NJ Transit. We're going to fully support the investments being made in the modern and reliable locomotives and equipment that you'll need to do your jobs. And in return, I ask you to do your part in creating a new culture of success and recreate an NJ Transit that meets the needs of every commuter. And to those commuters, who already pay some of the highest fares in the country, I'm going to make a commitment. The budget I propose the legislature next month for fiscal year 2021 will be our third budget in a row introduced with no fare hike for NJ Transit commuters. Again, that's third in a row, no fare hike for NJ Transit commuters. The prior administration balanced NJ Transit's budget on the backs of commuters and played a shell game with state funding sources. Our transit system exists to get you reliably to and from work and school, even our youngest commuters, and it exists to make your lives smoother, not to further burden you. We're all here today because we share a common thread, a commitment to rebuilding NJ Transit and a commitment to a better future for our state and its families. And I am here to let you know that you have no bigger champion than yours truly as you begin this new chapter in your careers with NJ Transit. It's a chapter in which you will all play a significant role because it's the chapter in which we will write the story of an agency coming back from a decade of mismanagement and neglect and perilous defunding. I once again thank the tremendous training staff I also once again thank our brothers and sisters in labor who stood in there and showed up every day, notwithstanding the very difficult circumstances of the past decade. And I thank each of you, our graduates, for answering the call to be a part of NJ Transit's turnaround. I wish you nothing but the best as you build your career with us. And with that, it is my great honor to introduce the Commissioner of the Department of Transportation, and as I said, the Chairwoman of NJ Transit's Board, Diane Gutierrez-Scacchetti. Thank you all so much for giving me a few minutes to speak today. And I wanna direct my first comments to the graduates. Um, you have a little bit of the road left to go, or I should say the rail left to go but how intensely proud we are of all of you for the commitment you made to a very tough training program. You now become part of what is a transportation family. And I can say that because in all my years in transportation, what I've learned is once you become part of, whether it's transit or the turnpike, you're part of a very tight-knit family that supports one another. And as the governor said, you have the support of so many people around you. It is only to our benefit to see you all succeed and to be efficient at what you do. But to, you are a testament to the fact that you can make it through a tough 22-month training program that, as Matthew said, from time to time may turn you upside down a little bit. But at the end of it, what you have is an extraordinary opportunity for a career to make it your family both more stable, to give you the pride that you are going to serve over 300,000 New Jerseyans who need this service day in and day out. 
And so what you're doing for us today and your dedication is moving us one step closer to being better able to provide on-time service, to make our customers feel that the reliable transportation that they need is available to them. So thank you so much for your dedication. And to all of your families, thank you for being able to support them through this process and being with them here today. This is as important as any educational opportunity that you will have if this is your chosen, chosen field of work. So for us to be able to join you today as part of the NJ Transit family, we feel privileged. We welcome you to New Jersey Transit. Go get that field testing done so that we can see you on the rails when we're using them every day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Diane. I, I echo and underscore Diane's thanks to the families as well, uh, who have uh, put up with a very challenging 20-month uh, period uh, for, your, for your family members who are graduating today. So thank you, each and every one of you. Please help me welcome the Chief Executive Officer of NJ Transit, Kevin Corbett. Thank you, thank you Governor. And uh, Diane, uh, you know, as you put it very uh, uh, eloquently, for everyone coming on board, for Diane and I, you know, transportation has been a great career. And for you all coming in, it's often underestimated. The impact it has in New Jersey is profound, as the governor touched on. And uh, where, you're, where you're moving up into career, it makes such a, such a difference into the quality of life here in New Jersey. Whether it's people getting, you know, home to work or going to hospital uh, uh, appointments, uh, the impact you have on thousands and thousands of, of people every day on every trip really makes a big difference and it was certainly a very tough period when we weren't able to deliver on that promise and for you all to be uh, coming on board today and completing uh, your uh, your course and getting ready for that check ride is uh, really a, a big shot in the arm for, for us after all we've been through over the last few years and certainly you've seen it have you been as you've been going over you know for the last uh, you know uh, the 20 uh, 20 months I think I, I think you've seen that improvement and uh, I know I've been out with uh, you on a number of those uh, uh, trips when you've been in training, so uh, I, I say I have personal uh, bias. Uh, seeing you in the Hoboken division, certainly as an M&E rider, that uh, certainly makes me happy. But I uh, want to congratulate you all for, for all that, and again, for the families, uh, the support that it, that it takes to go through it. Uh, it's uh, underestimated how tough it is, and uh, you know, Matt, I think you, you, you put it well on, uh, you know, there, there are some rough, uh, rough patches to get through. Um, certainly for New Jersey Transit is a commitment we have. This is not the end. As the governor says, we are now getting robust. You know, we're doing the PTC, all the testing we're doing now. Uh, we are adding the ranks and we'll have good full ranks going forward to make sure that we never go back uh, to, those, uh, to that bleak period uh, that, we, that we're coming out of. Um, I would uh, now say that uh, it's uh, time for uh, the uh, present the certificates of appreciation. And uh, when I call your name, if you'll come up uh, in front of the room and uh, we'll present the uh, certificate. Come this way. That's right. Yep. Okay. Uh, Matt, uh, Matt Brantley. All right. Let's hear from Matt. Come on. Next we have Dre Campbell. And uh, Keith, Keith Johnson, Jr.
Robert Singer. Not least, Matt Vanderwater. All right, yeah, we got a group, a group photo and the Let's get a group, everyone lined up. Line up, get a group photo. Come on, gang.